Greetings, salutations. I'm in the car, headed to work. And into some dark clouds. Ooh, it might be raining. It is Saturday. And you might be wondering, hey, uh, boy, how did the whole scooter thing go? <laughs> oh, well, on one hand, I accomplished what I set out to do. On the other hand, it all kind of went a little sideways on me. Is anybody surprised? I'm not. The problem, excuse me, the problem is, I went out to do the recording, and the guys at Mo in the Park were there. So I waited, and they moved on, you know, a couple houses down. So I started it up, then he came by the weed whacker. And I was like, oh. so I waited. So he was done with that, and I was getting the camera all set up and stuff, and meanwhile I'm looking at the, the top box, and then all of a sudden they, they show up two of them with blowers, and they're blowing dirt and dust everywhere. I'm like, are you kidding me? By now, of course, you know, this is eating up a little bit of time. It's getting hot. I'm starting to get sweaty, and I'm looking at the top box, and I look at the bracket that come with it, and it's not going to fit the scooter. I'm like, oh, man. It's a universal one, supposedly. And to make a long story short, I start looking at the box, and it's going to take a little creative mounting to get the thing the box mounts to onto the, onto the scooter. But I thought, hey, you know, this, this might still make for a, a good video. Um, and then I started kind of thinking and looking at the project, and nothing lined up. I was like, oh, no, that's not good. So then I'm looking at the actual top box and the mounting brackets and all that. There's no instructions. I'm like, oh, typical Chinese thing. It's a great looking box. It's got taillights in it. It's awesome. And when I looked at it, I was like, oh, this is going to go perfect with my, with my scooter. But... Um, it didn't want to work. And then I was like, "Oh man, I'm gonna to have to come up with some." After the pro afterwards, I, I thought it, I thought about it afterwards. I could have taken the bracket that mounts the bottom of the top box out of the equation, just mounted the top box right to my thing. But I didn't think about that till afterwards. Well, I had to involve some zip ties, bolts, and after I got all said and done, I didn't have the right bolts. And then when I bolted the top box to the bracket that mounted to my luggage rack. The, the holes didn't line up for that. The screws and bolts kind of go in and it doesn't really hold it real firm. And it turns out the longer screws, which I used for the bracket because it made more sense for the bracket that goes underneath that goes up to the thing that holds the top box, would need the longer screws. Well, the shorter screws to come for the top box to mount it to the actual plastic thing that mounts the luggage rack were too short for what I wanted to do. Uh, by this time, sweat is just pouring off my head. It's like, you know, the humidity is soared because I'm outside doing something. That's just, it works. And I was like, really? So I finally get this whole thing mounted. And by now, what should have been a simple, straightforward, bolt-on thing has taken me, and I kid you not, two hours to get on. Now it's on there. It looks good. I think it's mounted pretty securely. I think my ability to get it on there was pretty creative. Uh, so it's secure, so it's not coming off. It's safe. But... By this time, I'm, I'm kind of a little aggravated, to be honest with you. And I haven't done the hooking up of the light, because it has taillights and a brake light. That was the thing about this box I wanted. It was going to give me a more visible thing from behind at night, especially, because it is a black scooter. Well, I got this wire coming off. Of course, there's no instructions. So I was like, you know what? We, we're not going to do that today. I'm going to do that next week. Maybe I can get a video of both at least that part done. I don't know. Anyway, so I get that all done. I take a break from it for a little while, and, and it's hot. I don't know why it came off so hot. It had been so nice and cool, and that morning was like 73. And I had to go grocery shopping with my mom, so by the time I got back, it was a little warmer, but it just, as soon as that sun hits, man, it, it just jumped up in temperature. So, I don't know, 5 o'clock that afternoon or something, I put on the mirrors. The mirrors are smaller than the original mirrors. All right. What I was trying to do is get the father out so that I could see around me because, you know, I'm a big guy. And, uh, but as it turns out, they're not longer. So I was a little disappointed thinking, oh, crap, now these aren't going to work. But then I got to looking at it, and the way you put them in and then secure them, I mean, with motorcycles and scooters, it's probably going to catch on to this. You can set them so that they f out a little bit like that and then tilt the actual mirrors back. Ah, problem solved. 
now I can see behind me a little bit better and I still get the, the nice little mirrors I put on there. I'm going to make a video showing you what's on the scooter, so I don't want to go into too many details because I want you to see it once it's all finished up. But for the instructional part, it just it just didn't happen. Like I said, they kept mowing and so it's just ridiculous. These guys are mowing like every three to four days. The grass don't need to be mowed every three to four days and they're so freaking slow. They mow fast which is ridiculous. You can't mow grass fast because it just actually bends the, the grass blades over. It doesn't really cut them. But then they come back and they weed whack and weed whack and weed whack because they don't mow very good. And I think half the problem is their mowers are got dull blades is another thing. And then they come back and they blow and they blow and they blow dirt around. It's just... Really? So, that kind of sucked. I was a little disappointed about that. Uh, I was bumming a little bit Thursday night that I didn't get my video made, but... You know, life happens. You know, after 44 years of existence on Earth, I can tell you nothing ever goes according to plan. So I'm going to rally, see about the brake light on my next week, next week when I get time off, um, and see if I can get that figured out. Um, it's just four wires, one being a ground, and I think one being brake, and the other two being signal, maybe, but I don't have any instructions, so I've got to somehow test the wiring out. I don't know. The, but the box looks good on the scooter. And it's got some pretty decent storage. I mean, it's not huge. You can't put a helmet in there. Well, you might be able to put a, put a small helmet in there. But um, that is where I'm going to store all the other little odds and ends and stuff because the um, the storage underneath my seat holds a helmet just fine. So that's where the helmet will go. So, I mean, it, it does exactly what I want to do. It gives me that extra storage. Plus, it also um, uh, gives me that uh, extra lighting. So... I got that in the mirrors finally done that day. So, I mean, it wasn't a wash, per se. It just didn't go as well as I hoped it would go. And, you know, that happens. It'll still make for a good video. And I might be able to get the lighting thing. I might be able to do a video for that. Oh, and on top of that, my tripod, of course, didn't work with the mount that I got for my new phone. So I had to jury-rig that before I could even put the camera up. So literally, this whole going out there from the time I went out to the time I actually got done was over two and a half hours to put this on. Ridiculous. It's just pouring off me. I'm like, really? But, like I said, they're on. They look good. Now, if you follow me on social media, like Instagram and Facebook, you saw some pictures. I think it looks good. Come out good. I'm very happy with the outlook, or the um, the outcome. But, I'm not happy about not being able to do my video. So, I apologize for that. Like I said, maybe I can at least get the brake light show. Now, as for some extra lighting underneath the scooter, I still haven't done that because I'm I got to get to uh, I know where there's some lights and I want to do LED lights because you don't want to put anything else on a little 50 cc scooter it just kill the charging system. And I want to put them on a switch that they're not on all the time because you don't really need them during the daytime. So I want to put a switch somewhere so I can turn them on at night when I need it. Uh, the only my lights come on my headlight and my tail light come on when the when the scooter's running. It's not one that has a switch for that. The only thing I got a switch for is the blinkers and, of course, the high beam. So uh, I got to put in a little switch somewhere for the um, under the scooter kind of glow lights. But I will get to that. And hopefully, I can do a video for that one. Jeez. I don't know. But that was a little bolt on the road. Nice. Why don't we fill that one in? Holy crap. Um, but I got it on there. It looks good. So I had to give you an update video about that. Uh, I do apologize. Um, like I said, things happen but it does look really good on there and uh and then of course i didn't get a chance to ride pearl thursday night after i put all this effort in getting on even though the brake uh, lights in the trunk hadn't worked because then it rained so <laughs> i didn't even get a chance to ride pearl so i got one night of riding on pearl on my day off but i did get a 25 mile ride in so that was good so i mean you know it's florida it's fall we get some wacky weather and go from hot to cool to dry to wet very quickly it's the oddest place i've ever lived in Maine, I can always tell you what the weather is going to be almost identical to what it's going to be 12 to 24 hours out. I was there so long that I could just tell the weather patterns, but Florida's got some wacky, wacky weather. I mean, just crazy stuff. Anyway, I'm almost to work. Hopefully it'll rain tonight. Get my second night done, and then I'll have two more to go. Uh, next week, I'm only working three days because I took the mm, sixth off because i got to go get eye treatments. But the guy that works uh, patrol with me wants the 22nd off, so I'm going to just flop the two days. So I'm not going to lose any any money this month. I'm just going to give myself a short three-day work week uh, before my uh, eye treatment, and then I'll have four days off, which is good. Because last time the eye treatment, my eyes are real tired, and, uh, you know, it's just not worth it. You know, you, you know, money's nice and all, but you, you, you can't overdo it. Plus, it makes my eyes tired for the next two days, so 
All right, I've carried on far long enough. How long? Oh, just shy of 10 minutes. We're right around there. All right, thank you for watching. I'll catch you beautiful people in the next video.